Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with HP's Omen 15 15 inch lightweight gaming notebook. The Omen 15 is also just 15.5 millimeters thick in the front and just under 20 millimeters thick in the rear of the machine, and it weighs in at a lean 4.68 pounds, which is pretty svelte for a machine of this size. HP packs the Omen 15 in a high quality box where presentation was obviously a focus. In here, you'll find things like HP's optional gaming mouse and a fairly stout AC adapter brick, along with the usual assortment of warranty and quick start literature. The Omen 15 is built with a flat, black, painted, machined aluminum chassis and a sharply beveled edge design that gives the appearance of a much thinner and lighter notebook as it tapers down dramatically towards the bottom of the machine. To date, HP hasn't updated the Omen series with Intel's latest 5th gen Core Series Broadwell processors, but our machine was powered by an Intel Core i7-4710HQ quad-core Haswell processor with a full 6 megabyte of cache and a max 3.5 gigahertz turbo clock speed and hyper-threading for 8 logical processing threads. This is a stout 47 watt chip, so it's very powerful, but when loaded down and crunching, you'll pay a little bit in terms of battery life. The Omen 15 that we tested is also powered by NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 860M graphics processor with 4GB of GDDR5 memory for solid mid-range gaming on the Omen's 15.6 inch LED backlit 1920x1080 Full HD display. It's also touch enabled. It's a glossy panel with 304 nits of brightness that's crisp and offers good contrast and saturation, though we did find ourselves turning up the brightness a bit in certain lighting conditions to compensate for the glare on that glossy panel. Also on board our top end config was 16 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 MHz memory, a very nimble 512 gig PCI Express SSD, along with Intel's 802.11ac 2x2 Wi-Fi NIC with Bluetooth 4 on board, four USB 3 ports, HDMI, mini DP, and an SD card slot, along with an optional USB Ethernet dongle. Since the Omen 15's side edges are so sharply beveled, there's literally no room on the left or right side of the machine for I.O. ports, which is why all of the I.O. options are located on the back of the device. Here you can see uh, four USB 3 ports, power port, HDMI port, mini display port, and a headphone jack. You'll also note that the Omen's chromed hinge sports a hot exhaust tip style discoloration at each end, which looks kind of cool actually. Also back here, HP has adorned the rear ventilation grill area with some red lighting effects that glow when the machine boots up or is under a heavy processing load. Underneath, the Omen 15 has a rubberized and textured non-skid surface that feels and looks really premium. It also has a bit of venting in this area as well, but it didn't get too warm such that things got uncomfortable under normal use. However, noise was an occasional issue. While under heavy workloads, the Omen 15's fans can spin up to noticeable levels. Personally, we're okay with it, but users who are sensitive to acoustics or who are looking for a super quiet notebook may find the Omen's emissions slightly annoying on occasion. And speaking of emissions, the Omen 15 is HP's last product to sport a Beats audio branded speaker system since Beats was recently acquired by Apple. However, we're pretty sure HP won't miss Beats on the next revision and frankly the Omen 15's sound system doesn't quite live up to its flashy name or lighting bling that flashes in synchrony with whatever happens to be playing on the system. The Omen 15 didn't quite have enough punch volume wise and definitely lacked low-end response. We're used to cutting thin and light machines some slack in this area, but for reference, Dell's much lighter and smaller XPS 13 Ultrabook offers significantly better sound output. If sound is really important to you, a set of headphones or a Bluetooth speaker system may be in order. The keyboard area of the Omen 15 is nicely backlit and lighting color can be changed to a number of different hues via HP's Omen Control app that lets you dial in color for six different zones, including the W, A, S, and D keys for easy discernment in that all-important gaming scenario like a first-person shooter, for example. The Omen 15's keyboard is also roomy and comfortable with good key travel and an excellent overall typing experience. The machine also has a huge multi-gesture touchpad area that's fairly responsive, but perhaps a little laggy with pinch and zoom functions and desktop web browser settings. 
HP also built in an extra column of programmable function buttons on the left edge that can be configured via the Omen Control Keys Assignment tab, a handy upgrade to its standard F function keys in the top row, which are also configurable. Performance-wise, the HP Omen 15 is a real screamer, especially for a machine that weighs less than 5 pounds. Its PCI Express SSD clocked in at 830 megabytes a second for reads and about 660 megabytes a second for writes, which helps the Omen feel very snappy no matter what you throw at it, especially with app load times and at boot up. And of course, with gaming, the Omen 15 handles itself very well with the ability to push medium to high image quality settings in DX11 game titles like Bioshock Infinite and Batman Arkham Origins, all the while maintaining perfectly playable frame rates. In 3D Mark Firestrike, the Omen 15 put up a respectable score of 1874, just edging out Lenovo's Y70 gaming notebook and putting it within striking distance of an Alienware 17 that we tested with a Radeon M290X GPU on board. Again, it's not a complete dragster, but the Omen 15 with its GeForce GTX 860M mobile GPU certainly offers up respectable gaming chops to go with its striking good looks and tricked out lighting effects. As tested, the Omen 15 configuration we looked at retails for a hefty $2,099, though entry-level configurations can be had for as little as $1,499 for models sporting just a 128GB SSD and 8GB of RAM. There's no question with its discrete NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860M GPU and its Intel quad-core Core i7 CPU, the HP Omen 15 packs a good bit of muscle in a fit, trim, and stylish package, but with a premium price tag to go with it. Make sure you stop by HotHardware.com for our full review and thumb up this video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel here for more reviews, event coverage, and our Two and a Half Geeks webcast. I'm Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com with HP's Omen 15 Thin and Light Gaming Notebook. Thanks again for stopping by.